What's going on everybody? It's Carmine from Barbine Tech and today we have another Proxmox video. So today we're going to make Proxmox have dark mode. And in the past you had to do a whole bunch of extra steps and do this all funny way, but today we're going to do it much easier. So let's get right into the video. So in the past to get Proxmox into dark mode you had to do all these extra steps like modify the, the so they had to pull in different code and modify system files and all this stuff and if you did put it into dark mode and if something happened that you didn't like it anymore you had to pretty much restore everything and start over there's no way to actually revert it well in the latest update of proxmox it's now officially you can just change it into dark mode so i'm going to show you how we're going to do that so to start to get the dark mode to actually be part of proxmox natively you need to update your box so we're going to come over to our Proxmox server we're going to click updates and you can see I have a lot of new packages to pull in so I'm going to hit upgrade and we're going to do this real quick I'm going to let this run through and then when this is all done we'll come back and then we'll have dark mode so I'll be right back when this is all done okay so just to save some time I'm going to hop over to another server while that other one updates because there is a lot of packages but I'm over on my main Proxmox server, which I updated the other day. So, again, in the past, if you wanted to use dark mode, you had to actually edit it with some VSS and some other stuff, and it was a hassle. I, I never did it because it just didn't sound like it was worth it to me. There's GitHubs that you would have to pull code from and change stuff and, and modify. It just didn't sound like a good deal. But now Proxmox has actually added it natively to their service now. So... I played around the other day because I knew it was there, but I didn't know where it was. I didn't look into it. So I was sitting here messing with all these different settings and everything I could. It turns out if you come up here into the top right corner where it has root at whatever, you have color theme now. I, I looked in settings, all this stuff. I didn't realize this was here. So now when you update it, you'll notice that it adds color theme into the settings up here. And you just click color theme, and it only gives you a couple. So I'm wondering if there'll be availability now to add more themes. So you get like high contrast and stuff like that. But if we come over to Proxmox Dark and we apply it, we now have dark mode from Proxmox. And if it comes to an issue where we don't want it anymore, we can always change it back. And I have light theme again. So unlike in the past where if you changed it, you pretty much lost light theme. Now you can go back and forth if you need it. I like dark mode because the, the white is just way too bright. The dark is a lot nicer. It's easier on the eyes. So I like this one better. But hey, you could use whichever one you like. But just wanted to show really quick how this is out here and how to get to it I know this was a super quick video about this but we have dark mode now again I know this was a super quick video but I just had to share this with everybody because I know it's a huge one to have so make sure you update your Proxmox host and then from there you'll be able to get dark mode in the settings again but you don't have to sit here and mess with github repos and pull different code in and modify files and if something happens you just break your whole host and have to start over it's much easier now, so just run the update, get the new themes, and then you can apply from there. And again, I wonder if we're going to be getting more themes in the future, or if we'll have community themes that will be added in the future with different ways. So I bet we'll find out. There'll be stuff in the forums and probably on Reddit all about this, and I'm going to keep an eye on it. And when I find out more, I'm going to make sure to share it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. So again, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.